Welcome to LearnClickThrough.com. In the previous tutorial, we learned how to do incremental load for newly inserted records and or updated records. In this session, we will also go over uh, the records that were removed uh, from the, the database and, and see how incremental load can handle deleted records. So, for those of you who haven't gone over the, the previous video, I will quickly recap what we've done before. Um, so let's go over to the script, and I will step through the script so to introduce you to insert and update portion, and then we'll go over the delete part. So I'm going to go back to click view and um, go over the script. Uh, fairly quickly to summarize what we've done so far. I created two variables. One is for the source data file and another one is to save QVD. Um, initial load is normally needed for the per, uh, load first time and then uh, the, the scripts uh, has been commented since we don't need it um, unless until we wanted to reload all the records from the database um, again. So, uh, as you see, the script's been commented. Um, then the next step is to load um, the uh, the QVD file that was uh, created um, in the previous load to capture the um, uh, the latest date updated. As you see, where I'm using pick function here. To, uh, to pick the latest date updated, and that's the date we can use to determine newly inserted records and or updated records for incremental load. Um, so once once that get the, uh, date gets captured in this variable, we go to the next step to perform the incremental load. And as you see here, I'm using uh, that that date itself in the where clause to to control a uh, number of records to to add or update to, to previously loaded records. And and the last step is to uh, to get the previously loaded QED and only uh, include records that have not been included in the incremental load. Um, that's for the purpose of either inserting new record and or replacing an updated record. As you see here in the workflow, I'm using not exist function with the primary key to, to control that part. Um, now, in order to uh, handle deleted records, all we need to do is to get the primary key values, and in this case, order ID and then do an inner join with with the uh, with this table, so uh, this incremental uh, table, so that if record gets deleted from the source system, it will be excluded from the oral data set. So how we do it? Um, we go here and simply add inner join and. Let's say incremental here. Uh, need to just to copy from the previous tab. And all I want to load is just the primary key, which is order ID. And let's go over the table file. And I'm going to go over to the QVD, and it's it's going to be from from the sales. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, it it's it has to be from the source system. Um, so we'll go over. To the source data. 
Now the key here is to select new orders because um, as you see here in, in the spreadsheet, uh, the orders within uh, the initial load and all the uh, the, the subsequent, subsequent load and then in the in new order stat. So go back here and finish. And all we need is just the, uh, the order ID field. And here I can use um, the variable. So there you go. So with this, what I'm doing is by inner joining, if I if the record gets removed from the source system, it will also be removed from the QED. Let's save it and go back here and let's let's delete one of the records. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this record. Restore this. So now we should not have order ID 9 in the final QED. So going back and reload. Sorry about that. Didn't realize this. There you go. So now if I go into QED Viewer and open the final QED, it should not have the deleted record. So let's verify that. And here it is. And as you, as you see, uh, order ID 9 has been removed, so it's not there. So that's it. I hope you liked it, and thank you for watching. Take care.